Welcome AI enthusiasts. Today, I'll guide you through the process of transforming any model's outfit using the powerful Stable Diffusion AI tool, Focus. By the end of this video, you'll not only master the art of changing dresses, but also discover how to make any random model rock your custom designs. So let's get started. First step, create dress. Feel free to use any dress image you have on hand. If you're feeling creative and want to generate your own, check out the two prompts I've provided in the video description. And hey, if you want access to all the prompts I use to generate these fabulous dresses, just drop a comment below and I'll make sure you get them. I personally used Midjourney, but don't hesitate to explore other image generation AI tools like Bing, Leonardo AI, or SeaArt. It's all about finding what works best for you. Step two, remove background. You can use any software you want, but I've opted for a hassle-free approach using the free online tool, remove.bg. Simply hop over to their website, upload your dress image, and watch as the background magically disappears, leaving you with a clean, crisp image ready to take center stage. But before we get to the main event, let's have a little fun by dressing up a random model. This is where the magic happens. Now, let's get the ball rolling by double-clicking the Stability Matrix executable file to launch the Stability Matrix software. If you're unsure about what Stability Matrix is or how to install Focus, don't worry. Check out my dedicated video on the topic. I've covered everything you need to know about installing and managing any stable diffusion software, including Focus, with just a single click. And yes, if you've already got the standalone version installed, you're good to go. It works just the same. Once you're on the Stability Matrix screen, navigate to the left menu and click on the Packages icon. Look for Focus and click on the Launch button to unleash our magical tool. Be patient as it takes a moment. Focus will soon launch in your web browser, so get ready to dive into the magic. Start by clicking on the Input Image checkbox. Next, navigate to the Image Prompt tab and click on the Browse button. Choose the dress image you want your model to wear. Scroll down to the bottom left of the screen and click on the Advanced checkbox. Now, set the stop at value to between 0.90 and 0.96 and the weight value to between 0.91 and 0.96. These settings worked well for me and should provide optimal results. Depending on the type of dress you've selected, enter a relevant prompt. For example, if you've chosen a black full sleeve dress, you might enter a prompt like a beautiful girl in a black dress with full sleeves. Once you've entered the prompt, click on the generate button and brace yourself for the magic. Keep in mind that the process might take some time, depending on your computer speed and the selected model. And there you have it. Our first image has been generated, and as you can see, our model is now rocking the dress we selected. And here is our second image in the same dress. In this last segment, we'll explore how to switch up the outfit of our model. Start by clicking on the Input Image checkbox. Next, navigate to the Image Prompt tab and click on the Browse button. Choose the dress image you want your model to wear. Scroll down to the bottom left of the screen and click on the Advanced checkbox. Now, set the stop at value to between 0.90 and 0.96 and the weight value to between 0.91 and 0.96. These settings worked well for me and should provide optimal results. Now, navigate to the In Paint and Out Paint tab and choose the model whose outfit you want to change. Based on the type of dress you selected, use the provided brush tool to start painting the body part of the model where you want the new outfit to appear. While selecting the body part, it's okay if it's not perfect, but strive to be as accurate as possible. Feel free to use the scroller located at the top right corner to increase or decrease the brush size as needed. Once you're satisfied with the in-painting, select the advanced checkbox next to the input image checkbox. Navigate to the top right section and select the Advanced tab, then click on the Developer Debug Mode checkbox. In the Expanded panel, navigate to the Control tab, and finally, click on the Mixing Image Prompt and In Paint checkbox. Now, it's time to enter the prompt based on the dress selected. In this case, I'm entering a beautiful girl in a red dress. Once you've entered the prompt, click on the Generate button. Be patient as the process may take some time. After a few moments, your model wearing the selected dress will be generated. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Happy learning!